Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a foundation review on the new Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. So this is a reformulation of the old version and unfortunately I have not tried the old version out but I heard that this is a really good foundation so I decided to pick it up and try it out. There are a ton of reviews on this foundation on YouTube already and you can go read up on the claims and all but it's basically like 24 hours full coverage and it gives a matte finish. So I have been trying this out for the past few days so I generally know what I think about this foundation already. And so I have the shade 112 Natural Ivory over here because I got this off eBay and this was like the only available light shade at that time and so I usually wear the shade 120 Classic Ivory in the Fit Me collection so 120 Classic Ivory is definitely more yellow toned and this 112 Natural Ivory is more pink toned. So this actually isn't too pink when I put it on and I can sort of pull it off. So here is a close up of my bare skin. I do have primer on. This foundation is quite drying. I mean if you have super oily skin and your skin feels hydrated all the time then you'll be fine with this foundation but if you have like normal combo oily skin and your skin can feel dry sometimes then this foundation may end up looking cakey on your skin because it clings onto dry patches. So today I have moisturized my skin and I have used the Colourpop Priming Water Spray and for my primers, I am using the All Hours Primer from YSL and the Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. So if you are not using a pore filling primer, this foundation will not cover up your pores. So I do recommend using a pore filling primer if you want to erase all those pores. So here's the foundation and my nose has been having some problems. So as you can see, it's really dry and flaky on my nose and yeah. So if you have really dry skin and this foundation isn't going to be for you, but if you have super oily skin, you are more likely to like this foundation. So this does have high coverage, but I wouldn't really say it has full coverage because I can still see some spots peeking through. And so I would rank this more of a like 4.7 out of 5 max for coverage which is really really high. I mean it helped to even up my skin so no more redness and basically my spots look much more minimized and not obvious at all so from afar it looks really really flawless. I'm not sure why but the first time I wore it, it had a tacky finish to it but subsequently it had a matte finish so yeah, this is a really matte finish foundation and it feels very silky smooth. So for all control, I think this foundation is quite on par with the Fit Me foundation. So I get about 4 or 5 hours of wear before I start getting dewy on my cheeks and on my nose. And when I blot, it does transfer. So I do not really think that this foundation can hold up on its own for 24 hours because after like 8 or 9 hours of wear, I noticed that when I scratch my face, some foundation does come off. So on its own, if you do not set it with powder and all, I do not think it can hold up to 24 hours as it claims. However, I do not notice any signs of breaking down or separation on my face. It just starts to look a little bit cakey on my U-zone, which is really strange. So my T-zone area gets kind of dewy and the oils mix with like the foundation and so it kind of helps with the dry areas on my skin um, if I have any but like my U-zone area can get dry and then the foundation starts to look a little bit cakey. I mean, it's not terrible after 9 hours. So yeah, I do not think that this is a bad foundation at all, but I'm not too sure if I like it more than my Fit Me foundation. And I did notice that with this foundation, on areas like with pimples or redness, this foundation wore away faster than the rest of my face so I could see like the redness of my pimples surfacing like pretty fast after maybe like 3 hours or 4 hours when I blot. Hey guys, so I didn't really intend to do any check-ins but it has been about 7 hours with this foundation and I did set it with some oil controlling powder from Innisfree and so I think the foundation still looks pretty good and it did not look dewy or shiny at all. I did blot um, at about 3 hours or 4 hours in and just around my nose over here and so some of it did transfer from the corners of my nose. So I'm going to try and blot again because I just want to make sure that I am not oily at all. I mean, I do not look 
oily at all. So, so far there is minimal transfer. I can definitely see some beige coming off on my tissue. So yeah, so far so good and it's not breaking down or separating on my face. I just did notice that the dry areas on my face like are still there and they are flaking off. My chin looks a lot drier than when I started off so there are a bunch of flakies also but my cheeks look really good. So yeah, I think right now I'm ranking this above or below the Fit Me foundation. I can't quite decide yet but I'll update my list in the description box below. So yeah, I'm just not a fan of that, you know, problem. So yeah, that is all my thoughts on this foundation and I hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks for tuning in with me and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye-bye!